Good evening. Oh, Clara, you want to tell me something? Buenas noches, teacher. Yes. No, por error puse la manita. <ríe> Pero quería poner oyente, iba. Okay. Eso pasó, Lee. No. Eso pasó, le digo que por error levanté la manita, pero no era, no ah, era eso. Ok. Gracias. Okay, officially, good evening, everybody. Are you Monica in the class? Mario is please my right. Alexandra, are you in the class? And you, Oscar, you are going to be in the class? Sí, teacher. Okay, because it's the time to begin and all of the presents are listeners. Only, only you are in the class. So, uh, because my first activity is participation. 
Okay, Marvin is here. Uh, Marvin, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Melissa. Good evening. And Wilfredo. Well, Wilfredo is a listener at the beginning. I don't know if he is here now. And Maria Elena. Because I need an, an active participation in this class, guys. An active participation. Because the class for today is only your work. Okay, so I have more in this moment. I'm going to begin. See, the beginning, I need that you participate. So I expect that you do it, okay? The ones that are present, do it, please. Okay, let's begin. <clears throat> the class for today is about idioms. And I sent a video in the WhatsApp group. If you have time, you could watch it and study a little bit. If you know, here you are going to learn some because the purpose for today is to, well, we are gonna see the, the, the objective better. But the topic is how to use idioms, part one. And the objective is recognize and use idioms, mostly use idioms. How you use idioms? Using them, in no other way. Because if you don't use them, you cannot use the idioms. So that is what we are going to do. But what is an idiom? Let's say idioms in Spanish. Okay, <clears throat> we know some. And what is an idiom in English? Oh, uh, well, that is what we are going to see today. But first, we are going to have a review of the verse that we studied yesterday. Okay, everybody tell me what is the past participle of these verbs? Uh, wait a minute, because, because here is brush brush and I want to raise one. Okay, tell me, what is the past participle of the verb brush? Remember, I told you I need participation. What is the past participle of brush? Everybody can say it. What is the past participle of brush? Nobody. What is the past participle of C? Sing. Sing. Mm -hmm. Like uh, the regulars are easier for you, right? <laughs> 
Okay, in the number one, the past Br participle brushed. is brushed. Brushed. <laughs> what is the past participle by? Both. Both. What is the past participle of be? Being. Uh, being. What is the past participle of do? Did. Did. Don't. No me acuerdo. Done, don't. 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 Mm -hmm. What is the past participle of wash? Wash. Wash. Very good. What is the past participle of want? Want. Want. Mm. The verb finish with T? I, I de. Uh -huh. So you say? What? No puedo pronunciarlo. <laughs> wanted. 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 Okay, what is the past participle of learn? Learn. 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 Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> good, Jaco. You have made a lot of effort, but you do it. Okay, number nine. What is the past participle of teach? Teach. Mm, mm, no. It's in regular. It's taught. 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 How? What is the past participle of how? What is the past participle of put? Push. Put, put. Push. It's the same. Put, put. Uh huh. It's the same. Put, put, put. Put. Eh, what is the past participle of bright? Brote. Great. No. Written. Written. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you the present, the past, and the past participle of this. Okay, you have brush, brushed, brushed. Wait a minute, please. Right, right. B, B, five. Okay, brush, brushed, brushed. C, 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 so, sing. By, boat, boat. Be, was, where, been, do, dear, don't, wash, watch, washed, want, wanted, wanted, learn, learned, learned, teach, taught, taught, have, 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 put, 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 write, wrote, written. Now let's go to the next practice as a review. Okay, here we have five sentences. All of them have mistakes. Find the mistake. What is the mistake in the number one? I have by address. Both, Seria. Uh -huh, the correction in here is both. Well, I should, uh, I, wait a minute, please. I must make it, okay, this way. Okay, here, which the only mistake is the bird, right? Is both. I have both address. In the number two, she have written a message. What is the mistake? The auxiliar. Aha, uh -huh, the has, auxiliary has. has to be has. Uh -huh. She has written a message. Number three, people have seen the worst of the world. What is the mistake? So do you have? Mm -hmm. No has, right? Is have. People have seen the worst of the world. Remember that people did the plural. The plural of person is an irregular plural, but it's plural. 
Okay, number four. Children check the mistakes. What is the the mistake if we we are talking in the context of the past the present perfect? And have the auxiliary. Yes, so what is the auxiliary? Children. Children is the subject. Has. It. Has, are you sure have. that is has? It's have because it's plural. Yes, children is ha is plural. So the auxiliary is have. Children oh. have checked the mistakes. Number five, we have the reason yet. We have, Seria. We have, we have had the reason yet. But here is another mistake. Because yet, it means that the action is not finished. So this has to be in negative. What is the negative? What is the negative? We have had a reason yet. We need to make this sentence negative. Everybody. She just have to add not. Then we have. have... <coughs> we have not had the reason yet. Exactly. <coughs> Okay, this has to be in negative because we say that yet means that no lo hemos hecho todavía. Okay, todavía means yet. In this case, we the sentence is in negative. But in a way, I give you the reason because we didn't study the expression yet. <laughs> but I wanted to do you analyze this. Okay. Now begin with the concept. What is an idiom? What is an idiom? Okay, idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from their literal meaning. For example, to be up in one's ears in work means to have a lot of work. Okay, according to the video that I sent, the YouTuber said that idioms are words that have different meaning, like I hear said, different meaning of what the word say. Wait a minute. If you can translate the idioms for worldwide word, the result will be an incomplete no sense. What you are going to get is a complete disaster <laughs> because the words don't mean exactly the words. For example, if you want to translate this to be up in one's ears in work, estar arriba de, la, de los oídos de alguien, Okay, like like that, right? Estar arriba de los oídos de alguien. What is that? Okay, 
So you have to interpret, you have to memorize the, the idioms. The, the meaning they want to transmit, the real meaning. Okay, you want to, you have to use them in the context. Okay, I want that you understand this. You use the idioms in a context. An idiom that you use it uh, isolated, you can have difficulties understand them. You have to use idioms in a context. When you are in the context, you understand the idioms. Okay? In other words, the context are situations. When you are facing the situation, the idiom fix the situation. Fits. Okay, that is los uh, idioms in Spanish son dichos, right? Si usted dice un dicho en una forma eh, aislada, a lo mejor no la entienda. Entonces ya en un contexto real, eh, que ya usted sepa la situación, ahí puede entenderlo, ¿ok? So it's important that you memorize and understand the idioms and use them in the correct context. Okay, once that we have explained what is idiom, look this. These are the idioms in the lesson. Okay, these are the idioms that we find in the manual. Okay, we have under the weather, there is something going around, the top shape, take it easy, to be up in one's ears in work, as sick as a dog, can afford to, calling sick, my stomach is killing me. Okay, I mentioned this because I want that you see the list of the idioms in the manual, but here I can explain, okay? I'm going to present you the manual and we are going to complete an exercise and you will understand with the exercise, okay? You will understand, not here. Okay, in the manual, you have the page 33. Page 34. Okay, here you have, idioms are words or phrases which means something different from the literal meaning. For example, to be up in one ear in work means to have a lot of work. When you are saying to be up in, when here you say once it means, well, to be up in one's ears in work, you want to say that you have a lot of work. Okay, I wanna explain this. Usted puede, en inglés puede comunicarse, transmitir diferentes mensajes usando palabras normales, podemos decir, literales. Pero su inglés no va a sonar americano, no va a sonar nativo. O sea, ¿cómo usted su inglés puede ir sonando mejor? ¿Cuándo es que usted se puede decir que va a ir a un avanzado, avanzando en su inglés, cuando comience a usar idioms en su plática? Allí es donde usted realmente va a comenzar a sonar como americano. Por eso es que dicen, María gente que va de aquí de Estados Unidos, de, a Estados Unidos, de El Salvador a Estados Unidos, dice que pueden hablar inglés, dicen ellos, va. Están en Estados Unidos y allá no entienden nada. No sé si ustedes han oído casos como esos. Eh, gente que va a Estados Unidos y allá no entienden nada. 
pero porque su inglés no es tan avanzado, o sea, que usted pueda comunicarse en inglés no significa que usted ya maneje un inglés como para ir a Estados Unidos y, y hablar normalmente con personas que pueden hablar inglés allá. Entonces, a medida usted maneje idioms, usted va a poder comunicarse mejor, entiende. Miren, en las películas usan bastantes idioms, bastantes. Y si cuando usted no los conoce, usted ni entiende lo que están diciendo. Usted los conoce, ya va a ver, los va a identificar cuando vea las películas. Así que este es un camino que los invito a recorrer. Practicar, practicar idioms, practicar, practicar idioms. Ok, let's begin. Here you have the list. As sick as a dog, under the weather, too, but the expression is only under the weather. There is something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can afford to call in sick. Tip top shape. Uh, tip top shape. Okay, here you have the definition of what is the meaning of the idioms. What you are going to do is. Try to write what do you think the idiom is. For example, you say, my stomach hurts badly. What can be? A sick as a dog, under the weather, there is something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can afford to call in sick people, tip top chef. What do you think? Tell me. Maybe as sick okay. as a dog or under the weather. No, mm -hmm. as sick as a dog. My stomach, my stomach. Hurts badly. Mm -hmm. oh, my, stomach my stomach is, is killing, killing me. me. Uh -huh, my stomach is killing me. That is, that is it. Okay, do you understand the exercise? Yes. Okay, so right. The idiom according to what you think is the explanation, the definition here. Hey, do it.
Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, I cannot wait for more, guys. We are going to begin. Let's see if we, you have problems and uh, we are going to help each other. Okay, number one. What is the number one? My stomach is killing me.
My stomach oh. is killing me. It's killing me. Okay, in the number two, to be very sick. As sick as, as adult. adult. To relax, to rest. Take it easy. Take, take it easy. Take it easy. A lot of noise here in this moment, guys. I I when I wait for a for a moment. Okay, not feeling well. Tip top chip. Um under the weather too. Under the weather too. But I don't know why here they put two because two is not part of the of the idiom, but I want to respect what is here because the two is part of the complete sentence in the conversation you are going to see. In great condition. Can't afford to. Can't afford. Can't, can't, can't afford. Two. Don't have time to keep up shape. Keep up shape. Uh -huh. I want to write, but later we are going to see if it is correct, guys. Okay. Uh, okay. Number seven. Many people have the same thing. There is something going around. There is something. There is there something, is something going around. Something. 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 Something going around. Something going around. Going around. And to come to the office to say you are sick. Calling sick. Calling sick. Calling sick. Calling sick. Okay, let's check. Number one is my stomach is killing me. Two is as sick as a dog. Three, take it easy. Uh, four, to be under the weather, under the weather. The number five is heat top shape. Okay, heat top shape, because shape is starting form, remember? When you say, I am in shape, <clears throat> I am in shape, starting form, okay? And heat top shape is in great condition or start in forma. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So is the contrary. Here is the top shape. And here is hint. Afford 
That is the correct. My stomach is killing me. I'm sick as a dog. Take it easy. <clears throat> Under the weather, to top shape, can afford to. There is something going around calling sick. Okay, if I, we say, uh, because <clears throat> here um, we are going to say the word that we understand in Spanish as an idiom. Um, lo que quiero explicarles es de que eh, nosotros en español tenemos de algunos, tenemos dichos que se relacionan, que también nosotros para nosotros son dichos, pero algunos otros no. Otros son bien de uso de ellos, de los hablantes nativos. Pero en lo que cabe, digamos, aquí lo vamos a decir para que ustedes los entiendan bien. Ok. Uh, for example, my stomach is killing me. What do you say in Spanish? Me duele la panza. <laughs> me duele la panza. Pero también decimos me está matando. Nosotros también mm -hmm. decimos eso. Sí. Más los, cuando, más que todos los pies, ay, los pies me están matando, dicen. Va. <laughs> Entonces allí, my stomach. El hambre. My stomach no es necesariamente que van a usar siempre my stomach. Pueden usar otra parte del cuerpo. Por ejemplo, pueden decir my feet. My feet, mis pies, ¿verdad? O pueden decir my head, mi cabeza. My head is killing me. Aquí más que todo la expresión es killing me, la expresión más de idiomática. Okay, my stomach is killing me. My head is killing me. My feet is killing me. Eh, tú, así casado, enfermo como un perro, no suena, va. No, nosotros no tenemos un dicho tan así. ¿O, o cuál usarían ustedes ahí? Tirado al perro, hay, hay alguno, va. Tirado al perro, hay uno. Pero eso no necesariamente que esté enfermo, sino que está mal en general. Ok. Take it easy. Vamos a agarrarla al suave. Agarrarla al suave, va. Under the weather. En mm, this, no, no, no idiom. T-top shape, no idiom. Can I afford to? No idiom. There is something going around. Como algo pasa. Algo pasa. Te oye. Te oyen rumores. Okay. More like that. Calling sick. No, ok. Como les digo, no todos tienen un idiom, un idiom en español. Algunos sí, algo, tenemos dichos igual, pero otros no. Entonces, eso sí hay que aprendérselo bien. Bueno, todos, la verdad. Ok. Now, we are going to practice the, the, the pronunciation. Wait a minute, please. Wait a minute. I want to raise this. Okay, everybody, repeat. As sick as dog. As sick as a 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 dog. Under the weather too. Under the weather too. Under the weather, weather, weather. Under the weather too. Under the weather too. There is something going around. There is something going around. Uh -huh, around, around. My mm -hmm. stomach, stomach is killing me. My stomach is killing me. My stomach. 
Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it. Take it easy. Take it easy. Can afford to. Can afford to. Calling sick. Calling sick. Call in sick. Call in sick. Call in sick. Y eso para ser más fluido, acuérdense de lo que les expliqué ayer, parece que cuando hay una consonante y luego una vocal se dice unida, calling, calling sick, calling sick. Y take it easy, take it, take it, take it easy. Como la R unida a una vocal, acuérdense que les expliqué que casi siempre se convierte en R. Por eso le dicen take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Take it easy. Call in sick. Call in sick. Call in sick. Tip top shape. Tip top. Tip top. Tip top. Shape. 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 Okay, let me see who is gonna read this. I'm gonna see who is in the class. Monica is repeating, Marvin is repeating, Oscar is having his dinner. <laughs> Maybe you have had your dinner. Okay, Carlos yeah, Emerson is now Edwin here. Hi, Ay, I was crying. Edwin didn't come to the class, I said. <laughs> okay, I just want to check who is here. Okay, to ask. Uh, Marvin, you are the selected one. Begin, repeat, please. Okay. But the first one? Uh, uh, the eight. Read the eight. All of them. Okay. The first one, as sick as a dog. Under the weather too. There's something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can't afford to. Kill and sick. Tip top shape. Okay, I like Marvin's pronunciation. You have good accent. You are gonna do it, Marvin. Which is your occupation in the present? Marvin, which is your occupation? What is your occupation? Well, maybe he doesn't want to say it. <laughs> or he is ashamed, he's a little. Okay. He doesn't, he's a little shy. Marvin is shy. Who else wants to say it? Melissa? I don't know. Melissa, are you going to participate? Can you read the eight idioms, please? Let's see how the dog. Under the weather, too. There is something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can't afford to. Falling sick. Stick the trick. Oh, okay. Thank you, Melissa. You have good pronunciation too. I don't know why you don't participate more. You, you're good. 
Okay. Ana Silvia, can you read the eight idioms, please? Yes. As sick as a dog under the weather too. There's some time going around. My, my, my stomach kill me. Take it easy. Can afford to. Call, calling sick. TikTok shape. Thank you. Only here, right? Something, something, some, something, something, something. There is something going around. There is something going around. There is something going around. Okay, that is when something good happens or something bad. Then you will say there is something around. There is something going around, sorry. Uh, another, Monica, can you read, please? As sick as a dog, under the weather too. There's something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can't afford to. Call, calling sick. Tip top shape. Okay, remember that here uh, the CH is no pronounced as CH, it's pronounced like a K. You say stomach. 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 Uh -huh. And here you say take it, take it, take, take it easy, it. take it easy, take it easy. Yeah. Take it easy. Go easy. Hay otro que le dicen. Go easy, ese también quiere decir lo mismo. Go easy. Take it easy, relax. Okay. Don't get nervous. Don't be nervous. Relax. Okay. Let me see. Edwin, can you please? Okay. A uh, sick as a duck under the weather too. There is something going around. My stomach is killing me. Take it easy. Can afford you. Go in sync. Tick, uh, tip top shape. Excellent, Edwin. Only a stomach. A stomach. Stomach. Uh -huh, okay. Stomach. So there is a joke about this word, but when el, el estómago duele, they say estomachache. They say estomachache. <laughs> okay. When we were in the, uh, in the school, we say, ay, my estomach, my estomachache. My classmates say that, right? But uh, the CH, is stomach, dolor de stomach, or oh, is stomach cake. Stomach cake. Como que fuera cake, al final cake. Stomach cake. Stomach cake. Stomach. 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 Okay, guys, I hope that you can manage now this little better. Okay, let's go to the conversation. Okay, here somebody is calling. Something bad happens. What is the problem? Okay, here says, Jenny is sick. She called her boss to explain what the problem is. Listen to your teacher read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Okay, listen. Listen what is the situation here in, with Mr. Reese and Johnny. And then we are going to answer the question. Listen. Good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Hello, Mr. Reese. This is Johnny. I have a situation. She's very sad, right? She's very bad. I have a situation. Hi, Johnny. Tell me what the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. 
I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? Oh, really? There is something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, when you are going to ask a person about how the person is because something is not good, something is bad, you ask the question, what's the matter, right? What's the matter? Now answer the questions here. Why can't Jani go to work? How does Mr. Reese respond to this situation? What do you say? Why can't Jani go to work? What happens? She don't feel good. Yeah, she doesn't feel good or she doesn't feel well. She doesn't feel well, right? What the matter? What the problem? Here is not the question I am asking you. <laughs> what is the real problem? She doesn't feel well, but what the, what the problem? My stomach is killing me. Yeah, she says my stomach is killing me. Mm. In other words, her stomach hurts her. Her stomach hurts. You say my stomach hurts. Okay, it's the same as you say I have a stomach ache. It's the same. You say my stomach is killing me. I have a stomach ache. My stomach hurts. It is saying, when you say my stomach hurts, it's normal. My, I have a stomach ache, it's normal. But when you say my stomach is killing me, it's using an idiom. Do you see the Teacher. difference? Yes. Pero en este caso, si es un idiom, no precisamente está con dolor de estómago, sino que significa que está enfermo ahorita. Mm. Yes. Pero yo pienso de que si no está bien de su estómago. What do you say? ¿Crees? No, o sea, porque como, como estábamos hablando de que precisamente los idioms no significan literalmente lo que, lo que se escribe, entonces pienso que Probablemente llamó y dijo que se sentía mal, que estaba enfermo, pero no precisamente eh, por un dolor de estómago, sino eh, que utilizó el idiom para referirse a que estaba enfermo. No, pero sí, sí es el estómago el problema, porque cuando usted dice, es killing me, ¿qué es lo que quiere decir? Me está matando, va, pero ese no es literal, porque su estómago no lo puede matar. Esa es como una frase idiomática que usted usa para decir que sí tiene un problema en el estómago. Y lo más probable es que le duela, porque como que cuando uno tiene algo en el estómago, siempre le duele. Bueno, o sea, es killing me, eso quiere decir me está matando. Pero eso es lo que no quiere decir las palabras exactas, porque un estómago no mata. ¿Ya? ¿Ya me entendí en qué forma no es literal? Pero sí, es, eh, eso se usa cuando algo malo le pasa a, a algo. En este caso sería el estómago. Más que todo se usa para una parte del cuerpo que ya no aguanta porque le duele. ¿Es, ¿Está claro, Marvin? ¿Clear? 
Yes, I get it. Okay. Uh, so, let's continue with the next. How does Mr. Reese respond to the situation? What was his answer? Tick top shape. Yeah, he answered that he is in tick top shape. That is that he is in good conditions, right? Remember? Because the, you can say, as I told you, you can say one thing and it's okay, but you can use an idiom too, and that's better. Okay, you can communicate with normal words, but it's better if you use idioms. We you say, oh yeah, I am in good conditions. And this is good too. He could say that, but he said, I am in tip top shape. Take it easy. He could say, relax, mm -hmm. relax. But he says, take it easy. Okay. Usted puede decir en otras palabras, verdad? Y es normal, es, se puede comunicar y todo. Pero si usa un, una frase idiomática, es mejor. Ok. In this case. Ok, everybody. Eh, I want to. Let me see because the practice is longer today. Ok. Only two people read this. Wilfredo and Jacob. Okay, Wilfredo, you are Mr. Reese and Jacob, you are Johnny. Okay, go ahead. Okay, good morning. This is Mr. Reese. Yeah, Jacob. You uh, are the so role of Johnny. No tenía encendido el micrófono. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Reed. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Hi, Jenny. Tell me, what's the matter? I am not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I am as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's some things going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in, I'm in tip top shape. Take it easy, Yanni. I hope you see, I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reed. Have, have a nice reset of the day. Okay, thank you, Jake. Only remember that this is a stomach. 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 The CH is like a, the sound is K, K. So you say a stomach. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Practice, practice is work, please. Okay, guys, okay. we are going to go to the practice in. Uh, but I'm going to pass the attendance in this moment. Alexandra Michel? Present, present teacher. Uh, Alma Rocio, she is present, but she's oyente. Ana Silvia? Present teacher. Valmore? Manmor is not here today, right? Carlos Emilio? Present teacher. Edwin? Present teacher. Emerson? Present teacher. Are you okay, Emerson? Yes, teacher. Es que tengo un problemita ahí con, con algo, pero estoy escuchando. Eric? Jacob? 
Present teacher. George? No. Julissa? Hey, Julissa. Present. Ah, you here, Julissa? <laughs> okay, Maria Elena? Maria Jesus? Mario Oswaldo? Marvin? Present. Elisa? Present teacher. Monica? Present teacher. Oscar? Present teacher. Veronica Serna? Veronica Lisette Sanchez? Wilfredo? Present. Okay, these are the idioms that we started in the class. Okay, under the weather, there is something going around. He took shape, take it easy to be up in one's ears in work. This is the example, okay, but it's not in the, in the eight. As sick as a dog, can afford to call in sick. My stomach is killing me. Okay, here we have new ones. These are not in the book. These are not in the, in the manual. Okay, you have make up someone's mind, rain or shine, keep an eye on someone, piece of cake, sooner or later, I don't buy it, you never know, love it, I am on it, have the guts. Okay, repeat everybody. Make up someone's mind. Make, Make up someone's mind. mind. Okay, and here is someone is alien, right? But you say the name of the person instead of the word someone. For example, you say make up Sylvia's mind. Okay, make up Sylvia's mind, for example. You can say, rain or shine. Okay, the, we, this is, a, we use it, right? You, we use it, this, I use this very often, right? But in Spanish, of course. <laughs> Keep an eye on someone. When you say someone is, a, you can say the name of the person. Or the noun, for example, you can say, keep an eye on, on Carlos. Keep an eye on Edwin. Keep, keep an eye on my friend. Or you can say something, for example, keep an eye on the computer. Keep an eye on the machine. Okay, but it's Vigilar, really right? Piece of cake when something is very easy. Very easy, you say uh, it's a piece of cake. Sooner or later, okay, we use this in Spanish too, this idiom. This is the, la versión en español, right? Es la versión en español, no es que significa exactamente lo mismo. Okay, sooner or later, well, significa lo mismo, pero no son las mismas palabras, eso quiero decir. Sooner or later, tarde o temprano, right? Sooner or later, I don't buy it. When you don't believe something, you think it's not true, it's a lie, you say, I don't buy it. You say, teacher, I am see, I am, no. <laughs> I have something else to do. No, 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 it's not a good example, <laughs> no. Uh, your, your daughter, you have a daughter, for example, and the daughter has a boyfriend. I say, mom, I, I, 
I didn't do homework because I have this, because I have, I am tired. And you say, I don't buy it. Because you know that she was with her friend, with her boyfriend. You don't believe it. Okay, you don't believe it. That is when you say, I don't buy it. You never know. Okay, this is a very common expression in English. You never know when it, that can happen. You never know because things are, are, are unpredictable. When the things are unpredictable, you can use this expression. Blow it. You, when you say in the past, you say blow it, blow it. Because the past of blow is blue. You say blow it. La regaste, right? La regaste. Tu arruinaste. Okay, that is what I'm on it. Okay, when you are doing something, you say I am on it. I have the guts. Okay, when you say something is very difficult, something is very dangerous, but you do it. You have the, the, the guts. Okay, I'm going to give you three minutes to read this and try to memorize. Okay, study these idioms, study this. Okay, guys, the time is over. Let's practice and then I'm going to ask you. Okay, everybody repeat. 
whatever Yes. Yes, Wilfredo. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, make up someone's mind. Make up someone's mind. Make up someone's mind. Make up someone's mind. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. Rain or shine. Keep a keep an eye on someone. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. Here you say keep on. Keep on. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. Keep an eye on someone. Keep an eye. Keep an eye. Piece of cake. 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 Sooner or later. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. Sooner or later. I don't buy it. Buy it. Buy it. I don't buy it. Buy it. You never know. You never know. You never know. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm on it. On it. On it. On it. I'm on it. I am on it. I am on it. Have the guts. Have the guts. Again, right? Make up someone's mind. Rain or shine. Keep an eye on someone. Piece of cake. Sooner or later. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. You never know. You never know. Love it. I'm on it. I'm on it. Have the guts. Have the guts. Okay, now let's go to the exercise. <laughs> Let me see. Who are the good ones here? Vamos a ver quiénes, quiénes son los que me responden. Okay. What do you understand when I say I don't buy it? If you want to give me the synonym, okay, you can give me the explanation in English or the Spanish. What it do you means, understand? Yes? Sorry, I, it means that I don't believe in something. Exactly. Uh, what do you understand when I say I have the guts? Tengo el valor para hacerlo, sería. Or I can do in English. Yeah. I have the gut. You are brave. You are brave. You have the gut. Hey, Carlos, wake up. <laughs> I see you're sleepy. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ask you personally. <laughs> Carlos, what is when I say a piece of cake? Classic. Yeah. Do you think that English is a piece of cake? Piece of cake. Yeah. What's your opinion? But for me, English is a piece of cake. And what do you say? Is English a piece of cake? No, no, la entendiste, yo que me estoy preguntando. Because Piece of cake, you said, it's fácil, it's easy, right? Piece of cake. And my question is for you, is English a piece of cake? Yes or no? <sighs> Do you understand what is a piece of cake, Carlos? When you say it's a piece of cake, you say it's fácil, right? It's fácil in English is easy. Easy. Okay, so easy. when you say a piece of cake, it's because something is easy. And my question is, is English a piece of cake? <laughs> no, okay, don't answer, don't answer. Okay, for you guys, what is 
I wanted to for you to wake up. Okay, that's why I say that. Oh well, be more active, right? Uh, sooner or later. Tarde o temprano. Tarde o temprano. Yeah. And when I say I love it, lo arruiné o desperdicié. Yeah. Make up someone's mind to watch, watch out or uh, sorry, look up or watch over. Okay. Oh, no, make up. It's oh, make sorry, decide sorry. or sorry. someone. It's to decide. A decision. Yeah, to, to, to a make decision. a decision. Uh -huh, to make a decision. Keep an eye on someone or look something. Out. It's nice, look out. Uh -huh, that is look out. <laughs> uh -huh, you mix it. You mix it. Okay, I am on it. Estoy en ello. Oh, lo estoy trabajando. Or yes. Okay, like. guys, now we are going to go to the breakout rooms and you in pairs are going to work in doing this exercise, but I'm going to give you only five minutes to do it. Past the five minutes, I need the answers already. Okay, what is, what is it you are going to do? It is. But remember, or oh, better I want to make groups because in person maybe I run the risk that you don't have it. I acabo de usar un idio, una frase idiomática, me la entendieron. I run the risk. ¿Qué quise decir? I don't run the risk to make pairs because you don't all not all of you have computers. So I'm going to make group of three. Maybe in the group someone has a computer because I don't run the risk. What it's do you como, understand? Es como no hacerlo a la carrera o no hacerlo a lo loco, por así decirlo. Sino que piensa primero antes de hacerlo. Eh, well. Jaco, mm. you are going to learn English very soon. Because crying is the best thing that you can do in English. It's the best thing that you can do. But I want to show you, I want to show you what is it. I want to write it. The one that I have said it. Okay, risk is riesgo. So what is it? <laughs> I don't understand it. Me estoy durmiendo. Uh, Run the risk is risk is riesgo. Riesgo. Which which corre riesgo, run the risk. Uh -huh. So I don't run the risk. No corre riesgo. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't run the risk. Okay, I'm gonna. Ok, dice este exercise. Vaya, se lo voy a explicar. Aquí yo he puesto todos los idioms que le, les acabo de dar. Bueno, no todos porque aquí hay idioms, pero también hay aquí. Entonces, lo que ustedes van a hacer es encontrar 
de aquí, ¿cuál es la pareja de aquí? Okay. Y lo van a unir, similar al que acaban de hacer. Pero la diferencia es que este sí es la oración. Sí es el complemento de la oración. Que aquí tienen la mitad de la idea y aquí tienen la segunda mitad. Lo que van a hacer es unirla. Y como lo que hay que fijarse es en el contexto de lo que se quiere decir, cuál es lo más lógico, ¿ok? Eso es lo que van a decidir, ¿ok? Mónica. Mónica, can you join the group? Hello. Who is here? Hello, teacher. Monica, I uh, Jacob worked with you, but you didn't enter, so I moved him. Yeah, el, Jacob estaba con usted, pero como usted no había entrado, lo tuve que mover. Ah, uh, okay. Lo voy a mandar entonces a otros a ustedes. Okay. You. Okay. Teacher, a mí me sacó. Vaya, entonces te voy a volver a integrar. Gracias, teacher. ¿Estás con gripe? Sí, teacher. <risa> Yo creo te... que todos andamos así, ¿verdad? Usted también. No, solo ese es como carraspera, pero uh, no, no, no estoy enfermo. Uh, solo de repente quedar así. Sí. Number Ten one. Que póngase más
What happened, Monica? Okay. Hey, guys. Hi, teacher. I prefer that you rewrite the sentence. Don't do this, please. <laughs> Don't do this. I need that you write the sentence. I have the... Look at here I am. Yes, we have to join the parentheses with the answer. Yes. No, the exercise is that they wrote the oraciones. Ah. O sea, si quieren dupliquenme la slide y, y ahí lo hacen. Sí, debe ser otra hoja entonces. Uh -huh, duplicar la, la slide. Oh. Vamos mal, va. Hola, teacher. O sea que con la con las frases que están numeradas. Sí, aquí va... hay, aquí está el complemento. En, ahí mm. por ahí. Entonces usted lo que tiene que encontrar el complemento y escribir la oración. Pero no solo es de sí. poner flechitas, sino de que es de escribirlas. Ah. Eso quería decir, yo tengo un examen. I have an exam. ¿Y cuál es lo que le complementa? ¿Cuál de estos? Mm. You no, you wait. I have to. Okay, you take an exam. You take an exam. I don't know. You have to finish. Okay, that is your job. I leave you alone. Seria. What happens with Fredo? Are you in the class, Wilfredo? Hello, Marvin. What is going on in your group? We finish with the activity. Uh, I don't think and, and so. Because the activity that you have to write the sentences. Um, we didn't have to match. No, no, it's not matching. It's that you have to write. Oh, okay. At the first, you could match, but then you have to write the sentence. Okay. Let me see. Tengo que, sería, quiero ver, tengo que terminar. Sí, digo yo. Ok, guys, it's not a machine activity, it's that you have to write the sentences. Ok, it's not a machine. Okay. Lo que podrían okay. hacer es duplicar esa slide y escribir las, las oraciones abajo. Ok, en la nueva slide. 
hay que presentarlo en, en así. Sí, es que sí, es que sí, uh -huh. lo voy a pedir que lo presenten, pero es que tienen que volverlas a escribir, no solo es de a, como aparamiento, no es, ok. Uh -huh. Es de volverlas a escribir, pero ya juntito. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, Wilfred y Marvin, eh, cada grupo me va a presentar lo que, lo que eh, puso, porque a algunos no les va a quedar tan exacto. Este, y tiene que ser ya corregida, o sea, ya junta la, la oración. Ok. El ejercicio no solo es que usted a la pared, sino que es que vuelva a, a escriba las oraciones. Ah, okay. Pueden duplicar esta slide y en la otra lo, lo escriben como es, ya las oraciones. Completas. Ajá. Sí. Bueno. Ok, do it. Monica, I don't know what happened in this group. Because Wilfredo and Marvin are in the principal class. Ahorita me salgo. No, es que no hicieron el ejercicio. El ejercicio era que volvieran a escribir las oraciones. Pero no lo hicieron. Entonces, este les, está, les estaba explicando, pero ninguno de los dos me responden. ¿Y usted no tiene computadora para que lo hiciera usted sola? No, pero yo ahorita lo estoy haciendo en mi cuaderno. Ajá, es de volverlo a escribir, no solo era de, de aparamiento. Ajá, yo, yo estoy escribiendo las, las de la izquierda y las de la derecha Ajá. en el cuaderno. Sí. Ajá. Ok. Sí. Gracias, Ichi. Hello, teacher. Who is saying hello? I am Marvin. Okay, here is Monica too, right? But I was explaining that uh, you had to write the sentences. Yes, but I waiting for my partner uh, because Wilfredo, it's getting connect. Maybe we're having internet problems, internet issues, because he doesn't answer. Yes, but I don't know if the other uh, burners are connect. 
or Monica like is, a listener? Monica is there, but she doesn't have a computer. And always I try to put someone who has a computer because when I need you share the screen, you show what you have done. And I need someone who has a computer. In this case, it was Wilfredo. But because I don't know what happened with Wilfredo. And, and I don't know, but Monica is doing this in her notebook. Maybe you can do the same, Marvin. Okay, no problem. I have to La 3, la 3. Yo digo no, que borremos la... todo y lo volvamos a hacer de nuevo porque no pegan. Vaya. Nos Pero falta la 2. No, la son dos mentiras, no lo cuatro. No, no lo borremos. No, no nos queda yo tiempo. Creo, yo creo que la 4 es la de. Eh, he will be. No, él siempre miente. Yo. Uh -huh. Yo always uh -huh. like. La de keeping a on him. Porque ahí se mantiene lo cuidado. Pero tiene lógica donde está. You never know, you always lie. No, es cierto, porque no le puede decir que lo mantenga vigilado y luego que él siempre miente. No, pues no. Vale, Acuérdense que en cada una tiene que quedar un idiom. Uh -huh. Yo veo ahí en la tres no hay ninguno. Algo ahí no. Sí, la tres ni la dos. <risa> Entonces, en eso... Están sure. algo raras esas frases. Por eso las hice para hacer los que, que pensaran. Ok. Thank you. Lo tienen que lograr, lo tienen que lograr. Ay, Diosito, ayúdame. Vamos a ver. Vaya. La de llueva, llueva o. O, o truene, I have to finish. Tú tienes que finalizar, ¿verdad? Es la, bien, cuatro, la cuatro pega con la he will be alone. Vamos a cambiar. Manténlo vigilado, él estará solo.
un montón. Ok. Jacob, uy, usted ya se me quedaron los 10 minutos. Ya se me quedó en los 10 minutos. No. Ok, today. Pero que sea rápido. Oh, no. <ríe> temprano. Son 10 minutos, ahí dice. Uh -huh. Solo deme en 4. Ahora vamos con You Never Know. Vaya, cuando ya vean las oraciones, encuéntrenle sentido o vean si tiene lógica. Acuérdense que cada una de las oraciones solo tiene que tener una frase idiomática, ¿verdad? solo un idioma. Uh -huh. Ahí revisen. Ok. Yo creo. Eh... Ah, vean que sí. Eso es como de, es como de dudar, ¿verdad? Ajá. Keep up. Pero no sé si está ahí. La podríamos cambiar, ajá. You always lie, siempre. Sí, como dijo la teacher, que no, no es así como literal, va lo que se debe de entender. Sino que es como una idea. Sí. Keep an eye on him. Sí, yo siento que puede quedar mejor ahí, fíjese. Pero esa de I have to finish, tendríamos que pasarla. No quedaría ahí donde está, I don't buy it. ¿Y Ajá. Esa decimos de que concluimos que podría pasarse a la 4, ¿va? Sí. Pero esa 4 nos quedaría. I have to fin. How is everything here? Do you finish, guys, in your, on your notebook? Marvin? Hello? Did you finish, Marvin? Yes. Okay, maybe you can help me when your uh, classmates present because I see they have a lot of problems. I see they, they're, they are having a hard time. Okay, I'm gonna check again and then I want to stop the, the breakup rooms. No, no, no. Is it ready? Yes, teacher. I am ready. I... Believe me that you are the best. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, okay. there is, the other groups are having a hard time. They... Okay. 
Hay un par que no veamos. Sí, I have an extra you love it. But when you say you love it, maybe in the context it is in the past. Because love it is, is, the, is the general, but in the sentence, you have to change it in the past because it's something that you did. Change it to the blue it when you use it, but it's, you say, I have an exam, you. <laughs> <laughs> because you imagine that you have the exam and everything is lost <laughs> but no okay here is not the context because you say i have an exam mm -hmm. and you blow you blew it is no no logic right yes no no puedo. <laughs> Sorry, but I cannot. I cannot uh, avoid to laugh because it's, if you <laughs> understand some sentences, uh, they are something like a uh, funny. <laughs> they are funny, <laughs> but because you say you never know, you always lie. <laughs> That is funny. No, because uh, the, if it is a mistake, no, the, the context. O sea, yo me, me pongo en, en la situación y que alguien diría eso. Ok. Sí. Ajá. I have to finish it in, it's here. <clears throat> Let me see, because I don't remember that it's have to finish. Oh. And, I, and I did it. Say no. Okay, guys, I, I want to stop it and maybe we can do it together. Because, yes, it's, it's, it has taken a lot of time. My. No creo que así está. Creo que sí. Ajá. The number, the number seven is very funny. Do you say when you're trying, you always lie? <laughs> Imagine saying that. Trueno llueve, tú me siempre mientes. Ay, no. Ay, no. Ajá. Cada quien piensa diferente. <risa> en el lazo. <risa> Sorry. Pero acabo de estar en el otro grupo y me pasó lo mismo. <risa> o sea que ya juntos como que ya es otra cosa, va. Piénsalo uh -huh. bien, va. Ok. It's all lost when your luck will change. Ok. 
todo está perdido cuando tu suerte cambia, puede cambiar. Todo está perdido cuando cambia tu suerte, es lo que han puesto. Y al revés, ¿verdad? Que todo está ganado. Bueno, sí, es para mal, ¿verdad? Sí, también el contexto. No, al final ahí la perspectiva. <ríe> Lo único que cada uno tenía que haber quedado con una frase idiomática, ¿verdad? Un idiom. Y algunos no las han quedado. Por ejemplo, la última no tiene. La número cuatro tampoco tiene. Y la primera no tiene. Sí. Es lo único. Lo vamos a hacer eh, juntos porque sí, este, yo creo que todos están igual. Ok, hay una close. Hay una close. Se las puse difícil, va. Vamos a ver quiénes no resistieron la presión y se me escaparon. Ay, no. Hubo otro grupo que me encontré también ahí, va que... Vaya, hoy tiré a matar, ya vi. Vaya, lo vamos a hacer todos juntos porque para este... Yo, algunas de, estaban bien, yo estuve viendo y como la mitad quizás estaban bien de cada grupo, pero vamos a armarla aquí, me voy a pasar unos minutitos, mi modo. La cosa es que quede resuelto esto. Ok. Bye. Y así, rápido, lo voy a explicar en español porque sí, ya no hay mucho tiempo. I have the guts, eh, yo tengo las agallas, ¿va? pero cuando yo digo I have the guts, quiere decir que es algo difícil, ¿va? Es algo difícil lo que se... Por lo que yo tendría las agallas. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? You will get your goal, esto no, porque ese... You always lie, no. I have to finish, no. When you're... Lack could change, no, to do what, to do what is necessary, esta sí va. Vea que esa tenían varias. Sí. Yes, teacher. Ay, vamos a ver. No, sorry, 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 sorry. Vamos a ver. Um, me voy a ir valiendo de una técnica aquí para... Okay, to do what is necessary. Ah, no, aquí, aquí mismo. To do what is necessary. Va, ya está la primera. I have the gas to do what is necessary. Okay, yo tengo las agallas para hacer lo que sea necesario. Okay, eh, I have an exam. Si usted tiene un examen, ¿qué es lo que podría pasar? You always lie, no. I have to finish, no. 
When your luck will change, no, it will be a piece of cake. Sí, yeah. ¿verdad? Yeah. Yes. It will be a page. It will be a piece of cake. Ya que va a estar fácil. It will be a piece of cake. I have an exam. It will be a piece of cake. Okay. It's all those. Todo está perdido. Entonces, ¿qué, qué es lo que pasó? Todo está perdido, va. Entonces, es como que usted la regó, la desperdició, lo, lo que necesito, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿cuál era el otro que...? Aquí, you blow it. You blow it. Pero lo vamos a poner en pasado porque eso como estaba en general, estaba en general y aquí es que como alguien que ya lo hizo, ¿verdad? entonces vamos a ponerlo en, en el pasado. Blow es el presente, blue es el pasado. Entonces sería, it's all lost, you blew it. Lo arruinaste, ¿verdad? Está todo perdido, lo arruinaste. You blew, you blew it. Keep, a, keep an eye on it. On him. Dice, cuídalo, va. Pero ¿por qué? He will be alone. Ajá, porque él, él quedó solito. Entonces sería este. He will be alone. Keep an eye on him. He will be alone. ¿Por qué lo va a cuidar? Porque va a quedar solo. You never know. Ok. Eh, you never know. Usted nunca sabe, ¿verdad? Lo que pueda pasar. Usted nunca sabe lo que pueda pasar. Entonces... Eh, you always lie. No, ¿verdad? Yeah. Eso no queda. No. I have to... I have to finish. No. Eh, you will your, get your goal. No. Yes, no. this is. You will get your goal. Oh, yes. You never know. Usted no sabe cuando usted pueda cumplir sus metas. Usted no sabe porque a veces usted se da por vencido. Entonces, you never know, you, can, you, could, you will get your goal. I don't buy it. Is, I don't buy it, acuérdense que es que no le creo. Entonces, you always lie. You always lie. Mm -hmm. Ese era. I don't buy it, es no lo creo. Entonces, you always lie, es el que le pegaba. Ok, veamos aquí, no sé, pero como ya, des, ya desarmé todo esto, este, como que me hace falta una frase. Um, ok, rain or shine, sooner or later I have to finish. Um, Ayúdenme ustedes aquí en Rain or Shine. ¿Cuál pusieron? Ay, Yo siento que me falta una. Ahí le pusimos a I, I have to finish. Bueno, pongámosle este entonces. Pero falta una. Y que no me acuerdo que, que me faltara una. Faltó una, ¿verdad? Sooner or later. No, esta no es aquí. I have to finish. No es aquí. Bueno. Falta es when you look coaching. Ya me pasé los 10 minutos de Jake.
When you look cool, change. Ah, ajá. Uh -huh. When you look your luck who change no entonces esta es you never know when your luck could change aquí es lo voy a meter aquí y es que yo la borré no sé a qué horas la borré y a que Adam Bay, you will say, when you change, you will get your goal. Mm. Here it is. Okay, that's it. <laughs> yes, that, that is the correct. Okay, I have the gas, so do what is necessary. I have an exam, it will be a piece of cake. If he, it is all lost, you blew it. Keep an eye on him, he will be alone. You never know when your luck will change. Uh -huh. O sea, que usted nunca sabe cuándo su suerte va a cambiar, va. A ese es lógica, va. I don't buy it, you always lie. When you change, I have to finish. Llueva otro, llueva otro N, yo tengo que terminar, va. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, you will get your goal. Tarde o temprano, usted va a alcanzar sus metas. Vaya. Ya eh, vieron cómo era el rompecabezas. Me equivoqué porque el, aquí mismo lo armé. Si hubiera hecho otro slide así, quizás no me hubiera equivocado. Pero sí, este es el final. Okay, that's it. <laughs> How do you think? Okay. Vaya, mañana, mañana seguimos con la parte dos. Quiere decir que vamos a seguir siempre con idioms. Ya vieron cómo se trabaja esto, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, tratemos, eh, lo, voy a tratar yo de mandarles el, la PowerPoint desde la mañana. Mm, desde la mañanita para que ustedes tengan tiempo de revisar las que están en el manual. Ok, si en algún tiempo libre, libre que tengan, pueden darle una revisadita antes de la clase. Ok, okay. so eh, see you tomorrow. Only Jacob stay for a few minutes. See you tomorrow, guys. Good night. Good night, teacher. Verónica. Vaya, no sé si preguntarle qué le quedó de duda a esta clase, porque sí creo de que sí le costó un poquito, ¿verdad? Sí le costó. Sí. sí. Pero repasando. Pero, pero es que no es que, fíjese de que este no es de entender mucho, como ya se fijó sino que es de entender el uso. Uh -huh. Es de entender el uso, más que todo. Más que, como no es de gramática, va, sino que es que usted no. sepa para cómo se usa. Y esa ¿Cómo? práctica no la hicimos hoy. Fíjese de que lo ideal es que usted escriba una oración poniendo esa frase en un contexto. 
Eso lo íbamos a hacer, pero ya no alcanzó el tiempo. Sí, que, cada, que cada uno lo íbamos a hacer en oración, pero creada por ustedes, no dada por mí, porque ese ejercicio fue dado por mí. Entonces, ahí es donde usted entiende, y eso es lo importante, que se entiende el uso. Pero además de eso, que se confundió en, en eso, ¿qué más le costó, Jacob? Uh, bueno, lo que en general, lo que más me cuesta es como unir a veces las palabras o a tratar de entender qué es lo que me están diciendo. Sí, en general, lejos de la clase de hoy, dice usted. Sí, sí, en general, ajá, en general. Okay. Entonces yo creo que lo que usted necesita más practicar son oraciones. Mañana eso okay. lo voy a poner a hacer, oraciones, oiga. Va. Para okay. que usted aprenda a estructurar. Estructura le falta a usted. Ah, un poco de estructura y algunos verbos que a veces me confunden. Entonces repáselos por... más. Es que los Ajá, verbos deben por... de repasarlos. Ajá, por los sonidos, que si algunos se parecen. Uh -huh. Repase más personalmente verbos y vamos a tratar de, de hacer que ustedes hagan más oraciones. Sí, Porque, aunque eh, pueda. Eh, ajá. A mí me cuesta bastante. Por, ahorita no he terminado la tercera parte de la, de la, de plataforma. la, de la plataforma. Por, por el tiempo. O sea, yo vengo como a las siete y media va después seno y a las ocho ya la clase a diez más que estaba enfermo estos días está un poco más complicado todavía pero sí. ya me voy agarrando el hilo mire esto de inglés es que se agarre el hilo media vez usted lo agarra no suelta porque a quienes es que no lo agarran a quienes como que no verdad y pero también quiere mucho estudio personal es que eso es lo que sí, pasa. Sí, que eso el es tiempo. Lo, que, lo, que, lo que, el tiempo, el tiempo, porque para, para aprender hay que repasar, va, y a veces, bueno, a mí eso para es lo eso, los, fines, los fines de semana, generalmente no repaso nada, porque ya a las seis estoy en el trabajo, eh, regreso a las siete y algo hasta la casa. Y ahí a las la seis clase, de la digamos, mañana mentira, está en el trabajo. Y a las seis. Qué temprano. Y me toca temprano, entonces. Son mentiras, yo me acuesto cabal, si las 10 termina ya me acuesto a dormir. Ahorita ya está casi levantar. dormido. Ya. Sí, acá. <ríe> y ahí cuando yo le diga, have a nice night, ya solo uh, a la cama. Ajá. Vaya, es pues lo que, pasa, uh -huh. lo que pasa es de que como he estado algo enfermo también, no he tocado dormir más todavía. Sí, pero ¿sabe qué es lo bueno de todo? Que usted uh -huh. es joven. Usted es joven todavía, tiene energía. Eso es lo bueno. Ajá. Ah, sí, es lo bueno. <risa> Hay que aprovechar todavía la juventud te... para hacer Ay, todo lo toca. bueno que se pueda. Uh -huh. Ajá, entonces eso lo, lo invito a, a, a repasar un poco más los verbos y si es posible, ponerse a hacer oraciones usted solo. Sí, eso voy a hacer. Mañana para... eso vamos a hacer en la clase, vamos a hacer oraciones porque hoy no hubo lugar. Entonces voy a incluir los de hoy, que es la actividad que quedó pendiente, y más los de mañana. ¿Ok? Bye, vamos a estar okay. pendientes. Entonces. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Have a nice night.